All right. Um, what I have are right here are two different problems on how to um, use partial sums to help us find um, the sum of the arithmetic series right here. Um, and they're a little bit different because they don't give us the same location to figure this out. Um, so we have to actually derive this. So ask us to find the sum from those of an arithmetic. And with this, we can try to use our calculator. But also, I want to use a sum formula because that's um, what we have been doing before and that's what we're going to do now. So to help us figure this out, um, we want to find out, um, we're asking to find the first 10 terms. So with that, we're trying to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So our n value is going to be 10. Divide that by 2. And now we're going to use our first term, which in this case is 8. And we're going to find now our 10th term. Now to do this, um, we can go through and figure this out. Or we can try to find our nth term right here. Well, since we know it's arithmetic, we can see that this is going to be increasing by <coughs> 12 each time. So we can write out our equation. We have n minus 1 plus 8. And we can continue to figure this out. We have 12n minus 12 plus 8. And we know we have 12n minus 4. Okay, and that's our formula. So we plug in 10. And when we plug in 10, we have 120 minus 4, which gives us 116. And that's our 10th term. So from here, we can put this in our calculator. All right, and identify what this value is going to be. So that's how you can figure out the partial sum. All right. Um, from here, the next one, notice I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm assuming that you all out there in cyber world or wherever you are, I can um, do that um, on your own um, and figure that out. From the next one, uh, what we have is right here, we're going to do from the first term to the hundredth term. So right here, this is even easier. We're going to figure out the sum of the first hundred terms of this series. And to do this, we're going to, once again, we're going to have our n value, which is 100, because they tell us that. All right, we're going to divide that by 2. We take our first term, which they happen to give us, 15. So that's our first term. And we're going to add that to our last term, which would be a of 100. We're going to the 100th term, and that would be 307. We can, once again, put this in our calculator, and that will give us our sum. So we went through two different examples of how to find partial sums using the sum formulas for an arithmetic series. Um, I hope this helped you out on um, how to set these up, and uh, um, hopefully you can finish your homework and understand how to use some formulas a little bit better and how easy and wonderful it is. All right, God bless.